Did I know the doctor and Pompkus when this all happened? Oh, hell no! I told Cass loud and clear to stay behind and don't do like Dad and leave. I will come back later to pick you up. And Dad would be along with Cass's older brother, Jimara, or Jimmy as I like to call him. I have nobody, truly, and what's the point if everyone I love dies? All I do is put on a happy, giggling face to anyone who bothers to notice me. I need to move on. Taking the first step will always be hard, but I need to ignore the negatives ten miles down the road. And just do it. Get to the positives, you know? But, you clearly don't fancy hearing about me moaning about being sad. You just want to know what happened with that bounty hunter, don't you? Well, it all started on a bus. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it's my fault. <laughs> no, I really am sorry. I, I wasn't paying attention to who I was walking. It's fine, believe me. And I didn't see you coming. I just, I, sorry again. Sorry, I have a blast to cat. Bye, stranger. All right, see, see ya. Honey, I'm home. <sighs> to more exciting matters. Lucy Saxon has announced her new project, her virtual reality project. It's said to change media as we know it. <laughs> no thanks. And with us here we have Gabriel Saxon, is that right? Yep, that is indeed correct. A uh, librarian? So tell us, as Lucy, uh, sorry, I mean, Levi Saxon's brother, what can we expect from your sister in this virtual reality game? Well, my sister likes hyping up things, but I can say here and now, it won't come out until maybe 2025. Really? Well, what can we know? Oh, it'll be lots of fun. Lots. And lots of fun. I can say much about the Ricochet games, but we did work with Warner Brothers, Disney, Fox, and beyond. How exciting! <laughs> what the hell? She happened to tell me. Hello? Seriously? Another light bulb? I'll deal with it tomorrow. Hi, are you alright? Librarian? What are you doing here? I'm making dinner. Waffles for dinner? It's 3 p.m., Librarian. Oh, I thought you were home by 8. Well, not today, I'm not. Oh? But are you hungry? I am an expert in food stuff. Okay, well, maybe it wouldn't hurt. Oh, good. Because I lied. I have never made food for a human before. Mm. <laughs> oh, this shit's good. Mm. Oh, hey, Carlos. I was hoping you'd get here by now. How's the weather? You said you wanted to see me. Oh, yeah. I take it you know the planet Earth? I know Earth quite well. Great. Oh, uh, let's talk to my TARDIS instead. Do you like it? 
I just redecorated. Mm. Meh. So you know Earth. Good. That's good. As that's why I suspect he might be. Does he have a name? Oh, yeah. He's known as the Librarian. I want him alive. I need his ally powers to assist me and whoever he is with. They don't need to come. I just want him. Do with them as you wish. Oh, uh, unless it's Emma or his children. Those you shall not touch. Touch them and I'm doomed. This is what he looks like. Young, blonde, blue eyes, five feet ten, and wears a leather jacket. Understood. I will update you within 24 hours. <laughs> oh my, yours looks way more retro than the doctor's. I like it a lot. What can I say? Less is more. I like my stuff retro, you see? <laughs> wow. Well, that's cool and all, but you said you wanted to show me something. Right. So you remember Amberlight? I was there 30 years ago. And I feel like telling you, I managed to scare a single zombie, which I believe somehow survived. There were zombies in Amberlight Valley? I believe it was Amberlight. Dude! Zombies in Amberlight Valley? Yeah. It's been like that for ages. How one survived is beyond me. Is that what you want to show me? Yes, I need someone to be there with me while I try to find out what is happening. Why not bring the whole of Torchwood? Too many people would get seen in an instant. And since I nuked it, Unit has been hesitant in bringing me in. Nuked it? Unit? Yeah, 2020. I was there. I gave the order, I'm afraid, but the only ones that were there were just zombified already. Heck, I have a theory that some had been dead for decades. Uh, let me get it straight. You, you work for a unit, and you nuked a ghost town only 20 minutes away from where I live. The nuke's radius wasn't that big. It wouldn't really affect you too much. You sent a nuke on a town of people. Uh, zombified, but still people. It's where I met your father, Lieutenant Adams. And Private Maxis. <laughs> Hold on, I have two dads. What? No, Adams is your dad. Uh, let's just go. Come along. Oh, I remember this road so well. It's a dirt road. What's so special about it? It's where Maxis realized we went the wrong direction. Hmm. Right. Come. Hey, careful. There's one right here. Oh, oh my god! It's a zombie! Yeah. Fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, shit. You had one job. Run! <laughs> this is some serious deja vu! Librarian! Yeah, I noticed. Crazy jetpack woman on the southeast? I'm fairly certain that is a guy. Need I remind you, we got zombies behind us. So what? That means it's okay to misgender someone? Ah! Peter, <laughs> behind me. I got you. That's a gun. And I'm great with guns. Torchwood, remember? I ain't risking it, pal. What did you do? They ain't getting in. And you better put that gun down before anyone gets hurt. <sighs> well... That was one hell of an investigation. Well, we did find out that there isn't only one zombie left. And hey, 
You were the one who ruined it. And how was I supposed to know there'd be a branch right behind me? We were in the woods. There's like a billion branches all over the place. Like a, like a Jackson Pollock painting. Well, in that case, how was I supposed to avoid them all? <laughs> uh, hey, is there supposed to be a big red dot on the monitor? No. What red dot are you talking about? Uh, that red dot! Oh, something is trying to breach the TARDIS. I thought TARDISes have shields! They do, and that is exactly what they're breaching. I'm guessing you didn't just turn off the lights? Only for dramatic moments. And to be honest, you ain't my type, Peter. Well, hello there, gentlemen. I'm guessing you know the creeps uh, I got just chained up here. Peter? Y yes, librarian? Whatever I do, do not interfere. Well, not like I can without my gun. You're still hung up on that? She had a wife and kids, librarian. Silence! I have orders from above that are very clear. I want the librarian alive. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. You got me. Peter, what are you doing? No, it's alright, Peter. You don't have to pretend. I'm the librarian. Take me. No! Good oh. try, oh. kid. But I got a description. Get up, Londy. If you do that ever again, I will kill you. <laughs> you know, my boss didn't just describe how you look. He used to tell me your stories. Almost made you sound like a legend. But here you are. <laughs> Alright. Don't move now. <clears throat> you know, your boss wasn't exaggerating. But he should have mentioned one more thing. And what's that? You can open the TARDIS doors with a snap of your fingers. Peter! Peter! You alright? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I, is, is he gone? <sighs> Sent him to the vortex, but if he has the technology to breach into a TARDIS, I'm pretty sure that won't kill him. So great. Now we have to deal with a mercenary on your tail. So, what do we know? We know that he works for someone. That, that's a good start. Why did you do it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry? Why did you... Why did you pretend to be me? Cause, cause it mean he wouldn't take you. Duh. I know, but I told you not to interfere. You put yourself in danger. Jesus, I'm not a kid, Libs. I hand down aliens for a job. Well, what we're facing is not something Torchwood normally deals with, alright? Uh, I don't know. The dude did kind of look like a weevil. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Uh, how do you know what we're facing? I, uh, meant... I meant... I, uh, I meant a mercenary, obviously. I didn't know who the boss is. Alright. Uh, we should probably figure it out together, then. Oh, we will. You just stay put. Wait, what? Why did we land? Where are we? I, uh, need to recharge the TARDIS. You just hold that button right there, alright? Uh, okay, okay, uh, holding. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. I am the librarian, and I am expected. You really thought the vortex would harm me? Well, it got the zombies out, didn't it? If you look about... northeast... Uh, of course. Of course. Now, we can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Why do you waste your time? You do know it's a waste of time, right? Not if I bring you... Oh, what he has told me. I may not understand, but nevertheless, come with me, and you won't need to be hurt. 
is using me for my connection to my father? Typical. 147 years and they are still after me. I don't have time for chat. Come here. Ah, oh, fascinating. Future and time technology? I didn't know they made it this far. <laughs> After the entire ten, I just assumed they stopped having more. Enough of this. <laughs> I see where we are. No? I don't see how it would matter either way. I'm bringing you in dead or alive. October 25th, 2020. Behind those trees, any minute now, a younger version of yours truly, along with the Doctor and Gemma Freaking Jones, are leaving a second World War Bunker. Oh, so that's it? A stroll down memory lane? Sure, why not? We'll call it that. In a few minutes, my younger self shall run out. And I thought it'd be nice to show you something useful. Like I care. I'll bring you in Oh. Stand still. I only got a few bullets in this thing. I'm sure Peter won't mind. Most humans never do. <coughs> My boss said you were cheeky. This is... Entire armor. 124 floor strength metals for armor according to the universal ranking of knight's armor by the court of Fusima. So, what is this then? What is it you want to show me? Shush! We are getting out of the bunker! You mean it? Yeah. That was a rush. Hello? Yes? Brigadier? Eliminate the area. It is a class 5 threat. Neutralize it before it becomes too big. What did you just do? It is a part of my plan. <laughs> That's it? I expected more. Oh, just hold on a minute. A helicopter. What the fuck? In about 2 minutes and 17 seconds, the radiation will fall out, shall reach this spot. So, as a treat. Ah! You tell your master this. He is no longer wasting my time. Sending you, I will no longer stand for what has been done. You took your time to listen, and so I believe you might stand a chance to redeem yourself in my eyes. What do you say? You got 30 seconds before the bomb returns, and you turn to Ash. Leave them and join me, or perish. Uh, you stand no chance against me. This man is a legend. You are Carlos Amadiet Munanagana. See Josana, am I correct? You have a wife, Amagaza, and two daughters, four and seven. How do you... Oh, I see. This is a trick. You are testing me. Here it comes. So this is it? You're just going to kill me in cold blood? Yes. He's only going to lie to you again and again. Like how your wife only agreed to marry you to make her masters happy. To make the oh so powerful Patre Mali pleased. Well, it did nothing. You were never real. You never were, Carlos. You're just another drop of water in the rain falling into the sea. I don't understand. You are not happy with Padre Marley's rule. You wish he and his heirs would just stop and leave everyone to live in peace. L what? Why? Why? Why do you? Your wife always puts you down, Carlos. Always telling you how stupid you truly are. And <laughs> I can see what she means. I might as well be talking to a great wall. What? No, no, save, save me! I'll, I'll, I'll join you! I'll do anything! Please! Have pity, please! Librarian! The librarian is no longer here! 
You are talking to Novelus, the heir to Quatre Mali. What? Huh? So tell this to your masters. When they punish you, when they stretch you on a neutron rack of eternity, I am still here. You silly young man. No, not a man. I'm not a human being. I am a complex space-time event. I am Lord Ruler of the Patre Mardi Dynasty, the Traveller from Beyond Time. I am the nephew of Lady President Romana of Gallifrey. I am the Sandman to many. I am the destroyer of worlds and sometimes, only sometimes, I am your worst nightmare. I am the librarian and I watch out for my family and friends. Three months. Wait, Peter? That... that was you? Three goddamn months stuck in goddamn Victorian England! How did you... Some lizard lady helped me with it. You know how long it took me to learn how to get to one specific location though? Three months? Not one, not two, but three months! God, I... Where did you go? Skyro, I believe. My son Kajimi, he had been uh, kidnapped. Then with the Daleks there, I didn't want you to get hurt. So it was the Daleks, huh? <laughs> The story of a Time Lord's life, I guess. <laughs> oh, us Time Lords barely escape them. But uh, I need to ask, how was the Victorian period? I tried going there, but almost got hanged in America by a guy named Robert. Yeah, no, it was... Uh, it was dirty. <laughs> Look, I have to ask, why did you come to me? I, uh, I needed some extra arms. You know how these action-packed adventures get? Right, so you took my gun away and then proceeded to send me completely away. I... Can you please tell me the truth? I don't know, Peter. You just sometimes remind me of my son. His name was Cass and, um, well... He disappeared and I just... I just let my instinct get the better of me. Cass, he, uh, he went away not long ago. And I had hoped this little hangout session would... might... help. Oh. Wow, that's... a lot. I'm, uh... I'm glad you told me the truth, though. Oh, oh, oh hold on. I almost forgot. Here! Test tube? <laughs> Read the label. The cure? What is... oh... Oh, hold on! The cure! You bet! The lizard lady turned out to be, like, really smart and managed to create this. Peter, set course to Amper Light Valley! Oh, I, I still can't fully pilot the TARDIS, so... Oh, myself? Set course to Amber Light Valley! <laughs> 